All right, I'm here today with Jason Ross. Jason's a client of mine that came to me uh, with panic attacks and, and anxiety. So Jason, it's been, um, well, probably about seven months since you and I started working together. Yeah, somewhere around there for sure. What do you talk a little bit about why you reached out to me in the first place? What was going on? Yeah, so absolutely. So the last couple of years I've been dealing with, uh, it started with kind of anxiety, it turned into severe panic attacks. Uh, basically, so it was crippling me at work in my work environment, my life environment where I was Kind of struggling to be myself and uh, i was having a hard time you know sitting in a you know corporate setting in a meetings uh trying to explain myself and in the back of my head i was worried that i have an anxiety attack so it was really hard for me to focus on work and then just in general life in itself like i lost interest in a lot of the things that i enjoy to do uh fitness and stuff like that i was pulling myself out of all those environments because i was too afraid that i was going to have a full-on panic attack and didn't want to be in those environments so yeah, and you were a guy that was competitive bodybuilding yeah. and going to the gym was a big part of your life. And then you yeah. literally stopped altogether. It was, it was everything. Yeah. It all kind of hit around COVID time and the, the stresses of that, the stresses of life. And then with this kind of the mental health issues, it was, uh, I, I got so inside of my own head that I wasn't able to ask for help. Uh, I was too proud of a person for the longest point to... So I just got too wrapped up in my own, uh, I guess, insecurities about having this issue, right? So I stopped mm -hmm. doing everything. And the panic attacks were how far apart? I, I'd i say roughly every six weeks, I'd have a full-on panic attack. Okay, and how long has it been since you had a panic attack now? I would say six months. Six months, no panic attacks. No okay. panic attacks. The level of anxiety that you must have felt on a regular basis in order to achieve an actual panic attack, it must have been... Well, how high was that on a scale of one to 10? How high was it? So a lot of the things I've learned in here. So basically on a scale of one to 10, I would say I was veering eight to nine because I was right at the tipping point. That's why I'd come into an anxiety attack and it was so be, just generally living life. You were at an eight or nine every day. And now what, it, now what do you feel like you're at? Yeah. On a constant, I'd say between three or four, I I'm always, uh, thinking I can improve some more. So I'm, I'm kind of fluctuating in and around that area. Right. So three to four so you cut your general feelings of anxiety by 50 percent. for sure it's not hard to see why you haven't had a panic attack absolutely absolutely yeah, good yeah. when you first came to me i know you were skeptical a, a lot of people that, that come to me are right. skeptical i mean i get that yeah. um you you were probably a little more skeptical than most for sure for sure so I was, yeah yeah and um so now that you've gone through the process mm -hmm. even though you came here because you were basically it's like a shot in the dark is what you told me. It's all it was. It's all it was. It was basically I'd gone through all the regular kind of, uh, you know, mainstream stuff to try and fix this and nothing was working. And then I saw your uh, your episode on TPV News with a, a, a friend of mine. I'm like, well, you know, I'll give it a shot. I'm just to take a shot in the dark. And that's basically what it was. Right? Okay. A okay. And so now that you've had this success, yeah. you know, there are people out there that feel like you do, which yeah. is... Do I try this? Do I not try it? And sure. the skeptic in them won't allow them to yeah. even make the phone call. Yeah, well, Talk directly to those people and tell them what your opinion is. Uh, absolutely. So anybody that happens to be watching this, I'm already starting to spread the word for what uh, Surrender has been able to do for me. And I, I can guarantee you by my own experience uh, that it has worked. The traditional stuff that I used in the past, uh, it, it didn't do what this has done. So if you're if you're teetering, if you're you know in the back of your head, you think you should give it a shot, give surrender a call. Have the conversations. We did a consultation first. Uh, you know, I still wasn't a you know 100% bought in, but once I came here, I got through my first session. Second session, I was really starting to see uh, you know what he could do for me uh, and the benefits that I had. And I've been coming to him for you know close to seven months. And I'm not going to stop here. We were talking earlier. I always feel like it can continue, and I think it'll be a service that I continue to use. But uh, absolutely, if you're thinking about doing it, just just do it. I strongly recommend it. All right, perfect. And because of the conversations you and I have had, because you take taking a leadership role in your your own employment to For help sure. people and so absolutely. On. If there's somebody out there that wants to have more conversation with you, yep. is it okay if they send you a message on Facebook and say, "Look, this is what I'm going by all through"? Means. And by yeah. all means, but anybody out there again, I, I work in a in a uh, very uh, you know high paced environment within my uh, nuclear field and construction health and safety, and I'm starting to push this message into uh, my. You know my groups, my uh, colleagues at work. So if anybody out there in that environment wants to, to have a quick chat, uh, either get my information through uh, Surrender or by all means on Facebook for sure. And, and that's a stressful environment because oh, yeah. a lot of it, you you call it what fly in, fly out, right? A lot of it is fly in, fly out. So it's rotational based. So you're gone away from your home for long periods of time. So 
have to adjust to being at work and then adjust to trying to get back into your normal life, right? So, mm -hmm. And when you are away, you're working long hours. Oh yeah, you're uh, Monday to Friday, Monday to Sunday, seven days a week, sometimes 10, 12 hour days, right? So, yeah. And then you come home and you're not doing anything except for just Having trying, your time off, trying to have your time off, trying to uh, you know take a, a, a you know a nice deep breath and get back into a family life before you head back into work. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, the stresses involved in that are completely uh, on another field. So anybody in that environment, definitely uh, you know get in touch with Surrender, get in touch with myself. I can give you what I've learned and what I've gained from it for sure, for suggestion wise, anyways. Yeah, and some of you, if you reach out to Jason. Especially if you have, if you you know you're working away from home for long periods of time, just with the stuff that Jason has has learned doing this work and some of that self reflection, you could help people just by having a phone conversation with them. They might not even ever need to call me. For right? sure, for I sure. believe that based on the, the conversations you and I have had. Yeah, sure. no, I've done it in uh, in my environment at work already. Uh, a, few, a couple guys that are dealing with some some stresses and anxiety on their own. Uh, I've able to I was able to share what I've learned with you. And uh, give them a little bit of hope, just in a you know an hour, an hour conversation. Oh, that's a, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Definitely. All right, listen, thanks for that. No problem. There's going to be somebody out there that hears this message and sees this video. I really hope going to so. be helped by I it. I hope so. so for sure. All right, thanks. Good. Bro. No worries.